what is up YouTube I am going to be showing you how to make a Minecraft server okay so what are you got what you are going to need first is open any type of web browser so in my case I would use Google Chrome so we'll wait for that to load and then we Google it's um, there are many Minecraft hosting websites, but there is one in particular that in particular, in particularly, I can't pronounce that word. Sorry, um, that I use, and it's called Beast Node. Beast Node. Okay, then it'll take you to BeastNode.com, pretty a Minecraft hosting and more. So you're gonna want to click on that, or it's it can be Beast Node. Com. I'll have the link in the description. And when you scroll down, it'll say Minecraft servers for the first thing. Um, there is the chicken, sheep, wolf, cow, spider, so on. So the ghast is the most expensive, which is $60 a month, but it does have 4,096 megabytes of RAM. So that is a lot. And so, once you buy the server, you can go to Client Login, Multicraft Panel, Login. But, um, okay, um, I have a server already. Um, so it would be, well, I'm not going to type it in. But, uh, so, anyway, let's see. So, on my server, I have the sheep. Don't get the chicken. Don't get the chicken. Like, it's horrendous. It, if you say hi, it'll take 15 minutes to process it because it has so little RAM. And it only has, like, four player slots or something like that, maybe six. So, um, I would either recommend the sheep or the wolf. So, um, let's click sheep. So, you click order now. And then I'll take you to this. So let's put it to sheep. Then you do order now. And then you can choose um, monthly, quarterly, or semi annually. And then you do configurable options. You can do all these. But um, I would do Chicago if you live in. If you live. Well, whichever one's close to you, let's just say. So, um, you click, you choose that. Additional, um, information. So, the, it's all included, basically. basically. And then it, um, they set up your MySQL, MySQL database. Got, um, you have to have that for the plugins. And then, so the order summary so the sheep six dollars ninety five dollars ninety five cents monthly six dollars ninety five cents setup fees zero dollars so they'll set it up for you and then you just log in so then you click checkout and then you type in all your information so yeah it's pretty simple um so let's go home uh, actually, I'm just going to go to beastnode.com. Actually, no, this works. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just going to log into my server and show you how it works. So we're logged in. So when you log in, it'll look something like this. Well, actually, it will look exactly like this. Well, no, it won't look exactly. The IP will be different. The port will be the same. The world will be different. But what you want to do for the world is you want to type in one. So when you first um, get it, there will be nothing in this box. So you want to type something in and then click Save and then click Restart. Now, for some reason, my server will not turn on. Something is very wrong with it. I have no clue what, though. It looks like somebody has been 
messing with my config file. Um, so what you're also going to want to do is, so you have the chat, so you basically, you have every single thing, everything, every single thing you've ever, that anybody's ever said on your server, but it deletes it after a while. So there, no, there's nobody online right now, right? So then there's the console, players, so you can find uh, what players have been online. This is me, I'm the co-owner. And then you'll also see something called files. When you click on that, this is the brain. Well, actually the console is the brain, but this is where everything is. That's basically the RAM. This is the this is the hard drive. So in the config files, you can access all your config files, but it's not very good as some. So um, buck get plugins. Don't click on that. If you're thinking that's how you get plugins, it's not. Don't do it. It only halfway installs them. I'll show you how to download plugins in a minute. So what you want to do is click on FTP file access, and then you type in your multi-plat password once. Okay? You just type it, put, type it in once, and then it'll allow you to do that on that specific computer. So I'm going to type mine in. And sometimes it logs you out. That's the pro That's kind of a problem. But, and then you'll see, so you'll see your world. So mine is 10.9.84.256.754. And then so I have the actual world, the nether, and the end. And then the jar, that's where the server.jar is. So you do not want to be messing with this. You can't edit, that's how important it is. And you always want to click up or you're going to have to log in again. And it just takes a while. And then the lib, just ignore that. Plugins, that's the only thing that you're going to want to go on. Except for maybe if you're if you're uh, you have a whitelist server, or you want to opt somebody in your config, but um, you mainly will just want to go into your plug. Oh, whoops! Clicked on the wrong thing. All right, so we'll click on plugins, and now I already have all my plugins downloaded that I actually need. But what I'm gonna do is um, download one more plugin. So you'll see I have the plugin dot jar, like votifier dot jar. What is it dot jar? World edit dot jar. So what you're gonna do is open up a new tab and go to and type in bucket. B U K K B U K K I T. And I'll put a link in it in the I'll put a link for the website in the description. Okay, so we'll let this load. And then what you want to do is click Get Plugins. And then what you're going to do is type in the, the name of your plugin. So I want Vote for Us. Then you click Search. And then here it is, Vote for Us. And then, I'm not sure why, sometimes it does that, so I'm going to reload the page. Sometimes it doesn't let you download it. I guess it's because it's just experimental, like it says. But, um, yeah, so if I want, the main plugins that you're going to want to download is Essentials. So you're going to want to download Essentials. And to download it, you just, here, I'll... Let's just get anti swear. Okay. Let's get anti swear. So y there will be a download page. So you click on download. It won't download immediately though. You have to click download again. So here it is. 
So here it is. It's in my plugins folder. I mean my downloads folder. Antiqueware.jar. Then what we're going to do is click on this tab, on the other tab where you have your beast mode that panel, and you're going to click upload. And now I have a Mac, so it looks a bit different, but you're going to choose file, downloads, you find your downloads folder, click antiswear.jar, open, submit. And then you click back, back back until you're at a start page and then you click start well or you click restart my computer my server again like I said is a bit messed up today um, oh there we go it worked yay alright let's go into our FTP file access and then our plugins folder to see if it worked anti swear there it is see that it worked yay So the list of things is the, you know, I'm not going to say them. So yeah, you're going to, and what you're going to do is download um, Essentials and Permissions EX. And I will do future, future videos on how to down, how to write files for Permissions EX. And then I will do one for Essentials too if I get enough comments. Thank you for watching. Hope you hope this helped. Bye.